Hey Wompers, in this video we want to make you familiar with our new camera features and how to light a scene. I will also show you how to set up your custom camera and export the exact frame ratios that you want. Let's have a look. When we are in the scene, we can already see our cameras listed in the scene list at the left. By default, you will start through the view of the default camera. By clicking on the plus, we create a new camera, which will then be active and we can also then see the position of other cameras like the default camera. To go back to the view of other cameras, click on the right icon, make camera active. If you don't want to see the other cameras, you can click on the eye icon to hide them. At the right side menu, you can check make camera stationary then it is locked from further edits and will stay as you placed it. Before we come to exports, let's explore some of the options we have for lighting our scene. When we click on scene at the right side menu, we can start by changing the backdrop color as well as the environmental light by selecting through our many HDRI options which each display unique moods, lights, shadows and colors. You can also rotate the light map, which allows you to change the angle from which the light is coming from, as well as the brightness of it below. Additionally to that, we can add individual light sources at the left by clicking on the plus add lights. You can move them with the gizmo just like primitives and also set their color and luminance at the right side menu. You can duplicate lights by pressing Ctrl C plus V. When you are happy with how it looks, you can switch back into your camera then at the right side menu, we can also activate the frame settings to crop your render size. This will bring up a bunch of different presets you can choose from, or go and adjust the frame ourselves by grabbing the buttons to move it in landscape or portrait mode. From here, we can then simply click on export image and choose our resolution, format, or if we would like to include a background or not. Your image will automatically be downloaded. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and can't wait to see your creations. Thanks for watching and keep womping.